Hey guys, are you looking for a keto transformation story? I've got one for you. I have lost 24 inches off this body and 18 pounds since my doctor encouraged me to go keto for my hormonal challenge issues when it came to weight gain or the inability to lose weight, if you know what I'm saying. I'm here to tell you my story, the success I've had with going keto, why I encourage you to go keto, and what I'm gonna be doing to take things up a notch in what I'm calling phase two of my keto journey. So tune in to learn more. Everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. That's right, keto convert. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, around June 1st, actually it was about around the beginning of May, it took my doctor about a month to convince me to go keto because I was the single most skeptical person on the planet about the keto diet. But after a lot of back and forth and convincing and her sending me a lot of podcasts and articles to read, I finally decided to give it a try and it has changed my life. And as a result, I am now getting certified or in the process of getting certified as a keto coach because I am, as I say, unapologetically evangelistic about the power of the keto diet combined with fasting to address women age 40 plus and their hormonal challenges when it comes to uh, weight loss. And it really is what I feel is the missing link. And I want more women to know about everything that I'm doing because again, I think it's the magic bullet. So again, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited to share what has been tremendously successful for me and excited to share how I'm planning on taking things up a notch at the end of this year and what uh, I am looking forward to in the, in the coming year ahead. So let's get started, you guys. Let's do it. You know the drill. You got to subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and also make sure you hit that little bell so you're notified every time I put new content up because you know you want to be in the know. Hey everybody, welcome back. Please forgive me. I'm just making sure I shake up the rest of my ketones drink before I start chugging it. Um, so welcome back in today's video. Also, I'm just having this weird experience with my Apple Watch today. It's just starting to record workouts that I am not doing. Every time I look down at my watch, it says workout paused. I'm like, not doing a workout, recording a video. Um, anyway, what I wanna do with today's video is just kind of catch you guys up. For those of you that have been tuning in already, for those of you that are new to my channel, I want to um, really just give you a 101 on my keto weight loss transformation story. Um, my before, during, and after, just a really brief overview of what my transformation has been thus far. Then I'm gonna go over what I think the keys to my success have been, what I've, what I've done really well that I think has been, uh, again, a key to the success that I've had so far, and then what is it that I'm changing up and, and how am I taking things up a notch? I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I'm planning to take things up a notch for the end of this year because truthfully, as I, as I enter into the last three months of this year, this is where we're all at, right? Don't we all end up right about now, the last three months of the year, starting to reflect back on the year and going, you know, did I hit my weight loss goals? We're looking back, we're looking ahead, realizing that New Year's Eve is coming up, New Year's resolutions are coming up, and we're all starting to go, oh, is it another year that I didn't reach my weight loss goal? And the good thing for me is I know I'll hit my goal weight, so that's exciting. It's the first time in God knows how many years I'll be able to say that, so that's exciting. Um, but for sure, I know that there are things that I can do, and I do. I, I really just want to round out this year um, making some improvements, and I'll get to that in the second part of this video. So let's dive in and start off with this transformation that I've experienced. All right, guys, I mentioned this to you guys at the beginning of the video, um, how I started going keto with the nudge or instruction of my doctor. So when I say my doctor, I'm talking about my functional medicine doctor. I have had hormonal imbalance issues uh, probably for the better part of 10 plus years. Officially, those, those um, 
challenges started for me back in 2007. The reason I say officially is what I mean when I say that is my body started going through hormonal changes in 2007 when I was going through a divorce. I didn't know it at the time. Um, I didn't recognize it at the time. I know better now. It really probably wasn't until 2011, 2012 that I really started to pay attention, that I connected with uh, Whitney Jones, my trainer, that I started to get blood work done. I really do. I, I am, before I shoot one of my next videos, I am going to look up when I officially started getting bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. I do think it was around 2011. I need to look this up. Um, but anyway, it's, it's been quite a while that my body uh, has, I'm 52 now in, in 2021, right? I've been dealing with hormonal imbalance for quite a while. And through all of that time, you know, here I am running a fitness company that I founded, being this, being known as this fitness fanatic, having this blog, this YouTube channel, and people looking up to me as this fitness inspiration. And yet I'm somebody who's carrying an extra 25 to 30 pounds that I just could not lose. And no matter what I did, no matter how many books I read, no matter how many diets I went on, and in all that time, I was dieting nonstop. I mean, I just never stopped. I was in a constant caloric deficit. I was constantly working out, constantly dieting, just constantly taking things up a notch, and I never got anywhere. Um, and you know, throughout all that time, a lot of people, whether it was folks that tuned into me on YouTube or Instagram or, or whatever, a lot of people would say to me like, why are you so hard on yourself? You know, I don't think you need to lose that much weight. And I just have always had a very like hourglass figure. So I think to the average person, I didn't appear to be fat. I didn't appear to be somebody that, that, that looked grossly overweight. Now that can be a blessing and a curse, right? So for me, I certainly knew that I was carrying way too much extra fat on my body. But to the average you know, person, if I, you know, when I put on my nice clothes, I certainly looked presentable and I, I know that to a lot of people, they were confused by my relentless um, pursuit of what what to, to many people seemed like an unhealthy obsession. But to me, I just knew there's something wrong with my body. I'm carrying too much weight. I can't lose it. This isn't, this isn't the way God designed our bodies to function. So that was my before. Um, I had the, this hormonal imbalance problem. I worked with several doctors. Even after I got on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, was addressing my thyroid, was addressing cortisol, all of this stuff. I just, I still couldn't lose weight no matter what I did. Um, fast forward to last summer, uh, I went and hired a, a trainer. I went on a reverse diet. In October of last year, I hired Dr. Ruthie Harper, who is a functional medicine doctor. Um, she, I just knew the second I met her that she knew exactly what to do with me, that she, she in my first consult, that I'm just gonna say that. Um, and she's an exceptional doctor for any of you that are tuning into this. She does take telemedicine appointments. She's always accepting new patients. I have referred many new people to her who have come back to me and said, she is amazing. I can't recommend her strongly enough. Um, sorry, I had to chug down some ketones. Anyway, um, I hired Dr. Harper in October of last year, I decided that my last functional medicine doctor wasn't doing it for me and that I needed to make a change. And my gut told me I needed a female doctor. Best decision ever. Uh, she told me we still needed to work on a little bit more, uh, spend a little bit more time of me being in a reverse diet. That was to address my adrenal fatigue situation. I've talked about this in several of my other videos. I'll link those up down below and also at the end of this video. Um, Finally, we got to the point in April where she said, okay, I think your body has calmed down enough. You've been in a reverse diet for a while. I think we're ready to have you diet. And she sent me my macros. And again, as I said at the beginning of this video, I reluctantly and begrudgingly decided to go keto. Um, was very, very skeptical, was almost embarrassed to let people know I was gonna be going keto. That's why I kept it very much on the down low. Um, but here's the deal you guys let me give you let me let me give you the spoiler 
it worked and it worked so amazingly well and so fast did I so fast did I see results I almost wish retroactively or retrospectively I wish that I would have kept a daily diary because I wish I could pinpoint you know each day for you guys what I was feeling and, and I have some of that based on my Instagram story posts and so on but all I can tell you is very quickly after going keto um, I felt different um, the fir I think that was the first thing that I noticed was I felt different in in that I didn't have the constant gassy bloating feeling I had all the time I didn't have the stomach aches I had all the time uh, that I had before going keto. Um, so the first thing was that I felt better. The second thing is that I just, I started to notice very quickly my clothes feeling looser. Um, and I just, I, f even though I wasn't weighing myself in the beginning, I, I kind of did sloppy keto before I went officially keto. I officially started June 1st. And when I say officially, that's when I decided to weigh myself, measure myself, be very public about my my uh, journey and um, track everything and just go for it. Before that, I had kind of casually started kicking the tires and really just cutting out carbs. And But I was just eating like spinach dip and keto fat bombs. And I really didn't know what I was doing. That was what I call sloppy keto, like half-assed keto when you don't know what you're doing. And a lot of people do that. But I was still, I was, it was funny because I was still seeing my body start to like lean out. I just, I can't, I can't speak to the results that month because I wasn't weighing myself. I wasn't measuring myself. I was still so scared of the scale. I was so scared of what I was going to weigh. I was so scared of what that number represented. Anyway, from June 1st, you guys, uh, until now, now again, um, I have been at uh, the same weight for about the past three weeks. So I've been, you know, kind of just plateaued um, at this, even though I've been still continuing to lose inches, I've been at the same weight, 147, I'm 5'5". Five, five. Um, so I've been at 147, I've lost uh, 24 inches. Now, when I say I've lost 24 inches, the first question is people think that's all in one area. No, that's not like 24 inches off my waist. 24 inches means that's, you know, when I measure, I measure below here. Uh, most of most of where I've lost my weight has been on my waist. And then where I, the second place I measure is two inches below my waist. So I measure three parts of my hips. I measure my waist, right below my waist, right above where my butt starts. And then at the, the thickest, what I would call like the fattest part of my hips, where my butt is the biggest, if you will. I measure uh, my, the fattest, I, I'm, this is just the, b the best way for me to say it. I'm not trying to be politically incorrect. The fattest part of my upper thigh and then my lower thigh, I've lost inches there on my thighs for sure. Um, that's really the most of the places where I've, I've measured. So that's where I've lost the inches. I've lost 24 inches in total there. I've published all these numbers on my blog over at kellyalexa.com in a post. I will link that down below as well. So I've lost uh, 18 pounds and 24 inches. And again, since going keto, and what I've done is I've gone keto, I will share with you my calories and my macros with the full disclosure that I'm not telling anybody on this video, and there's a medical disclaimer down below, you should not just go and blindly follow my macros. You should not go without you know, checking with a trainer and or a functional medicine doctor you don't just go out and follow what somebody else is doing. My doctor designed this for me based on her knowledge of me and my history, okay? So, um, and, and this is what works for me, and it's pretty keto. Um, 50 grams of carbs or less. I don't do the whole net carbs baloney. I think that's baloney. Um, I do 60 to 70 grams of protein a day. Um, and I do about, a, I can do up to 125 grams of fat. So that brings me right in about 1600 calories a day, which is exactly the caloric deficit I was in before, but now it's a more keto uh, macro um, setup. So those are my macros that I do. Um, 
that has enabled me to have fat loss. Now here's what's interesting, and this is gonna be a good segue point for me to jump into what did I do well um, that helped me to lose the weight and then segue into what do I wanna do better in phase two? Because I did mention to you, I've been hovering at 147 and, and the scale has not been going down. My inches, I did, I did not measure myself. I usually measure myself every Tuesday. I didn't measure myself last Tuesday, so I've skipped a week. But I feel like I've just been kind of staying the same, which to me is understandable. And I'm gonna tell you why I think it's understandable and how I'm, now I'm, how I'm expecting to make things kind of start up again. So here's what's interesting, is in that first, um, that first chunk of time where I experienced this amazing transformation, I will tell you, I, I do a double take every time I see myself in the mirror. My husband does a double take. He did a double take right here at this kitchen island this morning. He saw me in this top and he said, where'd you get that top? And I'm like, I've had this top for like, you know, a couple of years. I just probably two or three years. I just haven't worn it. I haven't felt comfortable in anything that was tight around my middle. Um, and he said, that top looks great on you. And he said, your body has changed so much. And I said, I just, you know, I, I've lost the fat that I've told you ever since I met you. I've, I've been so paranoid ever since I've met him, my husband. And I would explain to him, I'm like, I'm just so thick in the middle. I just can't lose this weight. And you guys, this keto experience, keto plus fasting plus exogenous ketones, I'm telling you, it is the magic bullet. It is, it, it is everything. It's everything. Hey guys, I had to jump in here and do a quick pause. Is this video like jumping in your brain and resonating with you? If so, leave a comment below. Tell me what is freaking you out. What is making you go, hmm, what questions do you have? And furthermore, if so far you're listening to this and you're going, this is making me think maybe this is what I should do. Guess what? I've got a gift for you. I've got a free, I've developed this on my own. And, and honestly, I developed it because these were the questions that people were asking me again and again and again and again. I've got a free Kelly's Keto Quick Start Guide that I am happy to send any of you. I'm making it into a, like a little ebook download that's going to be available on kellyolexa.com. But right now, I'm, I figure, why wait? I'll send it to you in just like a, a text file and it'll be fancy and colorful later on my blog. But if you want it right now, it's basically links to everything, tips, tricks, um, recipes, links to like the ketones, everything that I do, everything that I recommend that you take, the vitamins, the supplements, the, um, the, the cooking tools that I use, all of that stuff, it's in there. All of the tips and tricks and recommendations that I make to help you be successful. If you wanna start going keto, it's in there and it's free. It's yours if you want it. All you need to do is either A, uh, leave a comment below, leave your email, or just send an email to me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. Happy to send it your way. Okay, so where were we? I said, like I, this transformation happened because of keto plus fasting plus exogenous ketones, right? And any of you that have any questions, you know, this is stuff I'm gonna be creating a lot of video content and publishing on coming up here. So again, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be going into a lot of detail. But if you have specific questions, leave them in the comments below so I can make sure I answer those coming up. But I had this transformation and this was not intended. If the, those of you that have been watching my channel for a while know I am a fitness fanatic. I love working out, okay? But the weird thing is when I, when I went on that reverse diet and starting in June of last year, the thing that I had to do was cut out cardio. I had to cut out cardio and I was only allowed to do 10,000 steps a day walking. And I was allowed to um, lift weights four days a week, but not get my heart rate up. So it had to be just like slow lifting weights. So my body for the better part of a year and about a quarter has not been used to working out. And then when I was given the green light to diet and start working out again, I had to slowly progress back into working out again. And it was, you know, I, 
I had to like tell myself, start where you are, Kelly, like you've lost strength, you've lost cardio capacity. So there was that, there was that aspect, but guys and gals, I want you to know, I experienced this dramatic transformation, losing inches, losing pounds, having my body transform before my eyes, where I still will look in the mirror and go, oh my God, are those my thighs? Is that, are those my hips? Am I, are these jeans that I, I literally right over here on the counter have a brand new pair of page, page premium denim jeans because the, the size that my husband bought me probably a month and a half ago, which was a size down from the last size that we ordered. So these are the, when, when I was in the reverse diet, I had to like get over myself and I had to order some bigger size jeans so that I could just have some jeans that I felt comfortable in that I didn't have jeans encroaching on my body. Well then, as I lost weight, I, all these jeans got too big, so we just bought a size down. And then we bought another size down. And I just had to order another size down. And like, it's the best feeling ever to be in a size and then to, to go out and go, oh my God. And I, I'll tell my husband, I'm like, look at these, like even these are too big. We have to buy another new pair. I gotta go sell those at the consignment shop. It's just this process that's going on. But all this happened and in this, in this time period from June 1st till now, I have had hardly any working out. Now, I did not plan to not work out. The main reason for me not working out in this time period is I have been dealing with migraines. Now, what, what has been the main reason for my migraines? A big part of my migraines, truthfully, number one, um, as an aside, I am dealing with PTSD, um, but that is something that I am uh, addressing with my therapist. Um, some of when I have a trigger, it causes migraines, but more importantly, two things. Number one, I have been horrific. I had to do that with a gesture, like a facial gesture to be dramatic, abysmal at drinking water. And I realized that, which is why, you know, here's what happens. You guys know, those of you that know me, I love diet soda. And when I start letting diet soda creep back into my life, it's like a a bad ex-lover. It's like you let them in the back door and then they keep coming back in. They keep coming back and they keep pulling you back in. And that's what diet soda is for me. It's like I, I let myself have one diet soda a day and then it's two diet sodas a day. And then the water just goes away and the water goes away and then more diet soda comes in and the diet soda and then the water just goes. And then soon there's just no water and it's just all diet soda. No judgment, okay? I just know someone's going to write me and hey, Kelly, I just told you once you started drinking that diet Mountain Dew, you wouldn't have any soda anymore. You wouldn't have any water anymore. I don't want to hear it. Okay. I recognize the issue. I'm over it. I'm back to drinking water. I'm also back to making sure I take my supplements every day. I got very sloppy taking my supplements. There are two supplements that are really good for headaches, vitamin B2 and CoQ10 in addition to magnesium. I never stopped taking my magnesium before bed, but I stopped that. Number three. In my ketones, I now add this uh, other uh, product that we have from Prove It. Um, I am a distributor for Prove It. So you can order exogenous ketones from me, but we also have this product called Mitoplex, which is electrolytes. I was told by a lot of people that when you're on a low carb diet and when you're starting to run um, and, and just work out in general, you need to replenish your electrolytes. I'm starting to run again. So I need to replenish my electrolytes. So I just add my electrolytes into my ketones. Bam. So this is the perfect segue to how do we take what I did not so good, not so well in phase one and take it up a notch in phase two. So what do I think I didn't do great or what could I do better? It's not that I thought there was a lot, a lot of stuff where I'm like, oh, I didn't do that great. But, but here's what I'll summarize. Number one, what I just told you, I was horrible with water. Number two, um, quite often, well, the working out, and that really had to do with migraines. I really want to get back into my weight training and my consistent working out. Number three, um, one of the things that has been a very bad tendency of mine when I was doing this keto thing and when I was not doing it has been eating, eating snacks versus eating meals. And I got into the bad habit of buying a lot of these keto dips from Trader Joe's and kind of coming out here. I work from home. I own my own business and I would come out here in the kitchen and I would pull out these, 
uh, really yummy keto snacks and plantain chips and that would be my meal. And that is not a meal, you guys. So my commitment is that I'm either gonna go out for lunch or I am going to make myself a meal. And today, I made myself a cheeseburger, chopped it up. I put this Trader Joe's, um, it's basically like a Big Mac sauce on top of it and chopped it up on top of a salad and it was so yummy. I've had my supplements. This is my third glass of water. I have my electrolytes in here in my ketones. I'm a happy girl, I'm doing it. All you gotta do is set goals, make a commitment to yourself and you'll do it. So, I summarized for you guys my transformation. I summarized for you guys what I feel were my weak spots. Not working out, uh, not drinking enough water, not doing the electrolytes. I think that's, that's definitely something everybody on a low carb diet needs to know about. I did not know about that. Um, and then the supplements as well. Uh, vitamins are key, especially when you're, you're uh, doing low carb as well. And this is what I'm gonna be focusing on in phase two. A friend of mine challenged me to do the 75 hard challenge. And I said, uh, no. Number one, I don't wanna not do alcohol when the holidays are coming up. But number two, after having not worked out for so long, I don't think it's wise for me to go into a situation where I'm doing two 45 minute workouts a day. That's overkill for me where I am right now. For all of you that have done 75 hard or are doing it right now and you can do that, that's great. But again, I haven't been training and for a long time. For me to go from zero to 75 miles an hour would be a mistake and would probably be putting me in danger of adrenal issues. So I'm not gonna do that. And what I'm doing is, is creating like a 65 modified. And I love that because it rhymes. Get it, 65 modified? And that's what I'll be focusing on. One workout a day of 45 to 60 minutes, focusing on my hydration, focusing on my supplements, focusing on my electrolytes, focusing on having meals instead of snacks. In fact, I actually threw away all of my plantain chips to make sure that I would eat meals instead of snacks. And just really focusing on making the last 90 days of, of this year count because I am nine pounds away from my goal weight, you guys. I look and feel better already than I have in a decade. And I, I just don't wanna get this far and stop here. I never planned to, it wasn't like I was coasting, but here's the deal, like I told you guys before, I've been hovering at 147. I'm ready to get to 138. So that said, that's my update, that's where I'm at. For all of you, I wanna answer any questions you have. I'm here, I wanna recommend, like I offered you guys before earlier in the video, if you want my keto quick start guide, just leave me a DM, or excuse me, leave me a question. I can't even talk. <laughs> leave me a comment with your email or just email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I will happily send you my keto quick start guide. Furthermore, for any of you that become a uh, ketones customer of mine, um, I am evangelistic about these ketones. What they do for you as far as, first of all, not only do they taste ridiculously good, both my husband and I take them every day. He's not even keto, but he takes them. Um, what you will get from them as far as outrageous, wonderful energy. Uh, before I started taking the ketones, I was having to take a nap every afternoon. No more naps. Um, how they will help curb your appetite and decrease your cravings, you have no idea. I, I can't even tell you. Beta hydroxybutrate is your best friend. Um, furthermore, as far as focus, um, I heard people talk about this, but after I started taking it, I just, I make sure that I take two doses of this every day. I have one, one of these drinks in the morning and I have one in the afternoon. It helps me just, I have clean focus during the workday, clean energy during the workday, uh, my husband, again, he is not keto. He takes it as well. He lost four pounds the first month because he doesn't eat the sweet stuff around the office. He doesn't eat the sweet protein bars he used to eat in the afternoon. His cravings and his uh, appetite has changed as well. If you would like to have information or um, just ask me any questions or have a dialogue about ketones and, and I'm happy to answer any questions, again, email me. But anybody who becomes a ketones customer of mine gets free keto coaching from me via text. So I'm happy to help you that way as well. 
So please let me know what questions you have. Again, I will be doing more updates here on the channel. I will be letting you guys see my keto journey. This has been transformative beyond what I could have ever imagined. And I'm out to let as many women past the age of 40 who are experiencing not only hormonal imbalance, but metabolic damage, who just can't seem to lose weight, understand that this is like the holy grail. This is what they should be looking into for weight loss because it's like the magic bullet. It really is. Keto plus fasting plus exogenous ketones, this is it. I mean, I am walking, living, breathing proof. And if you wanna to talk to me about it, let's make an appointment, let's talk. What do you have to lose? Pounds, that is! Let's make an appointment. I will talk to you guys soon. Good seeing you again. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope that this video was helpful. Of course, I have no shortage of videos that I have already published on keto and my journey. I'm gonna link them up here and I would love, love, love to hear from you about any questions that you have on keto so that I can help you. Thanks for tuning in.